Before we begin animating, we can create a variety of shapes right inside of After Effects. In this video tutorial, we'll show you how. I want to go to the top toolbar to draw a shape. That is located right here. If I click and hold, I'll see that there are a variety of shapes, but I'll start with the rectangle. I'll click and drag to draw. There's my first shape. If I hold down the shift key, I'll make a perfect square. I want you to take a look at the fill and stroke. This is where you can change the color. If I don't want that to be blue, maybe I want it to be green. And the stroke is the border. I could click in here and also change that color. This is the thickness of the stroke. I can scrub to the left to make it thinner. I can also just click in there and type the number, the thickness that I want. Maybe I'll type six and press enter. Maybe you don't want a stroke at all. You'll find that if you click on the color, there's no option here to say no stroke. That's because you actually had to click on the word stroke to get those options. It pops up in this window right here. And this is the no border or no stroke feature. And then click OK. So now this rectangle doesn't have a stroke. If you want to view this without seeing the bounding box, you can click anywhere in the timeline to deselect. Because I did have this box selected when I drew the second box, that they popped in together under the same shape layer. When I drew my first box, shape layer one appeared and rectangle one appeared. When I drew the second box, rectangle two appeared. If I deselect everything and draw another rectangle, you'll see that that will now pop into its own shape layer, now named shape layer two. As you start creating more complex compositions, you'll see why this is really handy. Sometimes you'll want them all in the same shape layer. Sometimes you'll want them separated. You can access all of the properties right here in this layers panel, but I do find, I'm going to close these because I do find if you open up your properties panel over here, nothing will show till you select something. I'll select this guy. So shape layer one properties are now displayed here, kind of in a nicer way. Shape layer one, again, has two rectangles inside of it. One way to test that out is if I try to move one, they both move together because they're both underneath that same layer. You can click on rectangle two to see just the properties associated with that shape. And then rectangle one would be the other shape. Before I get too far into that, in case you cannot find your properties panel, that is located under window and properties. You can toggle on and off to open up the panel. It's your choice if you want to look at things this way or drill down the layers and access everything this way. But it gets like a lot to look at when you're doing that. Let's go ahead and draw a circle next. I'm actually going to move this out of the way. That's right, those move together. So I need to hold down and go to the ellipse tool. If I go ahead and drag, there's, it'll actually draw an oval shape. If I hold down the shift key, it'll draw a perfect circle. Now, because I had shape layer two selected still, they all popped in under there. And over here, you'll see ellipse two, ellipse one, and all the associated properties. Let's go ahead and click on ellipse one and maybe add a stroke back to it. With that selected, I could do that right up here by clicking on the stroke and then going to uh, select any color here, and it did add it back in. I could also do that down here. Fill color, stroke color. Again, stroke color is border. Fill color is the color inside. While we're looking at this, you could also change the size right here in properties. By sliding to the right, left to make it smaller, right to make it bigger. You could increase the stroke width right here. Let's toggle over to the rectangle. And then you can see there is another property associated with the rectangle that's kind of cool, and that's roundness. So if you increase that, it actually rounds out the edges. When you're still using the shape tool, 
Every time you click in here, it thinks you want to keep drawing new shapes. So you'll want to get off that tool if you're done drawing shapes. And the best tool to go to is a selection tool, shortcut V. So if I come back over here, I can hit V on my keyboard and it takes me over here. You also may have noticed if you hover over different tools, it will tell you the shortcut. Q is a shortcut for this one. I'm going to show you just a couple more things. Let me just delete that. Give ourselves a nice clean composition. Let's also go to the polygon tool and the star tool. You'll see they come in as polystar one and polystar two. This has something to do with the fact that it's counting the number of points with both of these shapes. Let me drag in my polystar one. If you look over here, you'll see that it has five points. I could go in and type three points and it turns it into a triangle. I could go in, I could slide or type in eight points. Now it's an octagon. Let's flip over to the star. That also has points. I'm going to go over the animation in a separate video, but this gives you a good foundation on how to draw and change the properties of different shapes.